So a little bit of residual rainwater on the concrete from rain that we had north of Topeka this morning, but that rain has all but left us and clouds will continue to break through the morning and into the afternoon. But right now, very mild and warm start in the capital city. It feels like 80 because of the dew point as high as it is. And that's really what we're seeing across much of northeast Kansas right now. Are those temperatures in the mid to upper 70s? Except when you get out to Concordia, you can see it gets a little bit cooler the further you go out. It's also a little bit drier out there, so maybe feeling a little bit nicer for you folks in Concordia this morning. But really high dew points the further east that you go. So it's going to continue to feel muggy throughout the day, and it's going to continue to feel hot as well. We're going to be warming up to about 73 around 4 o'clock. I think that's going to be our high for today, mid to low 90s. But it's going to feel more like it's in the triple digits yet again. So if you are out, like I was saying, be sure to drink plenty of water. And tonight, we are not going to cool down much, only into the mid-70s. And it's going to do so rather slowly as clouds begin to move in tonight. Now, you see our showers that we had move through earlier. Maybe a couple more blips out to the east popping up. But that's it for today, folks. We are going to clear out, and we're not going to see much rain uh, further today. Now, in the coming days, if you look at this dip, we've got a developing system out west in Utah right now that is going to be pushing east as it comes over the Rocky Mountains, and that's going to give us our next best bet for rain. Moving into tomorrow morning, that system moves closer, starts to bring in some clouds, and then following that, starts to bring in the rain. Tomorrow afternoon, scattered showers and thunderstorms enter the picture, and even into tomorrow night, we have some more rain moving in as this system continues to push through the overnight hours on Sunday. We will see that continue to push through even into Monday. Labor Day, your day off. I'm sorry, but I think it's going to be a wet one with widespread scattered showers and thunderstorms moving through, continuing in the morning through the afternoon. And so that is going to put a bit of a damper on some holiday plans you may have if you're thinking about going to a lake. I would suggest maybe not. Maybe stay in, maybe do something that you can do without getting wet in the rain. As Monday and into Tuesday, I'm thinking are our best chances for rain at 60% for scattered showers and thunderstorms through the days. And also continuing the rain chances through the end of next week. Now, one bright side is we have this hot Saturday. But as the rain chances move in, you notice we are going to start cooling down. And we're going to be pushing back into the 80s. So feeling a little bit more like the end of summer by midweek this week. And hopefully those cooler temperatures will stick around. And maybe we'll have a sunnier, less rainy weekend coming up next week.